Hard working every day I'm stressed out 24-7, babe No, no timeouts Wish we could fly away You and I Go to our favorite place Oh, yeah, yeah Make special memories Together I'll be your company Now and forever Facing a Thank you for stopping by and clicking on my video. Today, I am styling my three-tier tray, the one you see right here. If you wanna see how I created this style, keep watching. Let's get started. Before I can start decorating my tray, I am going to give it a quick wipe down. I have a set of these beautiful string lights that I am going to use on the second and third tier. It has snow and a little evergreen tree inside that lights up with the flick of the switch. This will give a nice ambience or atmosphere to my tray. When I decorate my tear tray, I like to start with my larger pieces. I like to get those pieces in place and then I will start playing around with my other items to fill in as I go. There is no right or wrong way to style. I just play with it until I like it. I want to extend a warm welcome to you and thank you so much for stopping by. Last week video, I met some beautiful amazing ladies thank you all for the kind words here on my channel i create cleaning diys and home decor videos if this is something you like i hope you will stick around and subscribe and hit that notification bell i upload every sunday 3 p.m eastern standard time sit back relax and enjoy the video follow me on Instagram at Florida Girl living in a Georgia world. I post lifestyle, food, and decorating ideas. Greenery and plants is a staple for styling my tear tray. It's a great filler for areas that has gaps or openings. As you can see, I am constantly changing pieces out until I find my happy place.
I think it looks nice. I tried my best to kind of even all sides. So whichever way you're looking at the tear tray when you're in the kitchen, that you can see every angle. Whether if you're on this side, here, here, or in front. 